Julius Caesar, oh my God, he, he stands out because not, I mean, the reason he won battles sometimes was sheer brilliance. I mean, when he was fighting against Pompey, for example, Gnaeus Pompey, he came up with this sort of concept of psychological warfare, where once he had defeated a group in battle, he would forgive them. He would extract an oath from them not to face him on the battlefield again. And then they, as opposed to being executed on the spot, they would be allowed to leave the battlefield. And that upset Pompey enormously. He couldn't see what was happening. These, he would send out armies. And then, of course, as soon as this became established, they would lose and be allowed to leave the, the battlefield. It became a terrible, an incredibly effective technique that no matter how many Pompey sent against him, they would all surrender because they knew that they would be uh, treated decently. And this drove Pompey to absolute madness. He couldn't understand what was happening and why, no matter who he sent out, Julius Caesar would simply <laughs> forgive, forgive them. And it, it was, as a result, you see, when things went badly wrong for Julius Caesar, as they did once or twice, against Pompey, he tried to stage a night attack. And a night attack is always difficult because you can't communicate very well, you can't see what's happening, and it's just, it's prone to error. And so what happened was he arranged a, a pincer attack on one of Pompey's positions, and Julius Caesar was going to lead one and the other was going off, and they would both meet at the Roman camp at the same time. And the other pincer um, came across a river they couldn't cross. And as a result, they were delayed. So Julius Caesar's suddenly inadequate force finds itself assaulting a, a, a Roman camp that they can't possibly take without the distraction of the second attack. And they are routed fairly quickly. They are made to run away. And Julius Caesar is so aghast and horrified by what's happening that he grabs the uh, signifer, the, the legion flag from the uh, the, the man whose job it is to carry it and waves it to try and rally his men and we have an account that Pompey sees this happening he doesn't know it's Julius Caesar holding the flag but he sees a man waving the flag and attempting to rally the men and his officers say we've got them let's attack we'll slaughter them here if he had he would have killed Julius Caesar he would have become emperor and that would have been the end of uh, Julius Caesar's story no doubt then rewritten by later historians to be a much lesser man than he, he was. But because Gnaeus Pompey had dealt with Julius Caesar for so long, he said, no, this is a trap. So we're not going anywhere. I will not fall for this. And as a result, at the moment of perfect weakness, he didn't move. And that was down to Julius Caesar trying every trick in the book before and establishing a, a, a reputation for utter, utter brilliance on the battlefield. And that saved his life. I mean, his reputation was extraordinary.